Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Make For Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be popping this palette's cherry. This is the Dollhouse palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. The color story looks like this. Um, I think this is fucking really exciting. Honestly, I almost didn't get this palette. I almost just got the blends and the Surge palette and didn't get this one. I'm so fucking glad that I did not make that stupid choice. That would have reaped consequences that I would have never even known about. <laughs> That's heavy. So anyways, um, if you guys are curious to see how I got this look, or hearing my final thoughts on this palette, or if you guys just like to watch, then hang out. I have used so many brushes in the last like week or two, so I'm just like kind of just using whatever works. So I'm going to use my refer number 14 and I'm going to go into the color and this palette actually has a lot of really cool colors and I'm into it. So I'm going to go into Attic because honestly I could have used any one of these and it would have made me very happy with my refer 14 and I'm just going to kind of go. I just want to do a look that matches my outfit as per usual. Honestly, I mean, looking at this color story, like really looking at it about like what looks to do and whatnot, I feel like this palette actually just like became my favorite of the three. <laughs> and I wasn't even gonna get it. <laughs> I was like, oh, who wants that neutral palette? But I mean, obviously something about it was appealing to me, but I'm just saying like I considered not getting it. This is like a staple. Look at that color. It's amazing. You guys know I love these cool tones. But you know what else is... I've been kind of getting into warm tones a little bit lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Maybe I'm warming up a little. God, that's really pigmented. I need to stop. Just going to kind of brush out that edge. Make sure there's nothing harsh there. Not that it matters because I'm going to brush it out anyways. And then I'm going to use my... Do I have it? No nothing I got fuck all I got a Jessup 227 which isn't exactly what I want but okay and then I'm gonna go into uh, I was gonna go into pose but I think I'm actually gonna go into baby doll right here because that actually matches my outfit a little bit better I'll show you my leggings and my so I'm going 50% on and 50% off and actually this Jessup brush does this a little more nicely than the Zoeva 227 because as I've showed you in previous videos, actually recently, I'm certain that recently I mentioned this, that um, the Zoeva 227 is much fatter than this brush is. So this is actually really white based and I wasn't expecting that but... God, the pastels in these palettes are fucking... They'll kick your dick in, dude. What? You gotta start with the pastels and then work your way down. <laughs> Dang, this is cute. Cute, cute. Man, that is adorable. Going back into Attic. Because I actually literally completely covered this. Covered it. <laughs> Dang, this is a really good palette. You don't even need to do anything. <laughs> okay, with no additional product, I'm just gonna go in and kind of clean this up. Dang, this palette, I mean, every color like is just about that fucking great. Okay, what, I'm gonna use my Voldemort Fee JH40. It's like the M506, only it's a little more pointed, I feel like, in the on the end. And I'm going to go into the color Fasten, and I'm just going to use that to deepen up the outer V and maybe into the crease a little, but not really too much. 
This isn't too much darker than that color that I just used, but a little, yeah. So I'm just doing that and then I'm gonna go in with this Refer 14 with no additional product and just kind of blend. Good Lord, that looks fucking beautiful. What? That's, that was too easy. I'm going to do a cut crease with my AOA E131. I almost didn't remember what, I almost didn't remember what it is, but, or did I almost? It's not the use for me to actually remember. Okay, I'm gonna go into the color tool with my Jessup 234. I'm gonna kind of go like this. Okay. Mm. These shimmers are a lot like the Glam Light shiver shimmers, which some people really love. They're good. They're and then I'm gonna go into the color Dress Up with the back side of that same brush. Ooh, this is gonna be the, ooh, ooh, that's perfection. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I'm just gonna kind of tap this in. And then pretty. All right, and then with this brush, I'm gonna go in with the color Fasten and just deepen this up. And then drag this down with the dark color. What was it, Dress Up? Pretty. That looks really good. I'm just um, being a perfectionist here. Okay, I'm gonna take Fasten and I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. Why do I feel like that looks a little bit fucking janky? Yeah, this is definitely my kind of neutral palette. Like, this reminds me a lot of the Rose from the Dead kind of story. Oh, by the way. One of my losties suggested to me to use this got to be, I'm pretty sure it was this, um, spiking wax for my brows because I've been like, it's been so problematic for me. And I found this, it was actually, one of my friends gave this to me as a gift for my birthday like five years ago. It's just been sitting in a thing. And I used it today and it's fucking phenomenal. It's like actually holding my brows so good that I'm super stoked about it. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to let it stand the test of time and see if it makes it through the day, but Killing it, just killing it. I'm gonna take the Unearthly 8.5 and I'm gonna use the color Vintage to blend that out. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I think I'm just gonna leave that and kind of just bring it down. This is really good. Crazy, crazy good. Maybe I will blend it out just a little bit with Baby Doll, but I'm like barely, I mean. I had a feeling that these colors are like deceiving. Like I might've been better off using like Undress 
or you know what I mean? Like something that would have looked a little less white. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it would have looked a little pinker if I would have used a little bit of a different tone. I mean, don't get me wrong. This looks pink as fuck. It's not like not pink. So what am I going to do for my inner corner highlight? I think I'm going to actually, I'm going to take my Voldemorphy JH32 and I'm going to use this color pretend because it's been fucking, I want to, I just need to. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line and I'm going to see where that goes. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to use this for my inner corner highlight and I'm going to spray it. Yeah, this is, this is a nice color right here. Pretty. Mm, I love that. And then I'm just going to take this. That was pretend again on the brow bone and this looks beautiful. You know, I just want to, I feel like I just can't get that blend quite right on the line. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the manifesto, the PS de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs in Electra and my unearthly cosmetics blusher in mellow this is the one that had the sheen for sure and then i used my bitter lace beauty romantic rose highlighter i got this as a gift and it's not really my, as much my style really per se but it did seem like i put my blush and highlighter on before i did my look today so it did seem like it was going to work no matter what it couldn't go wrong so it was like a no-brainer and like foolproof, right? And then I use my cashmere, Lime Crime Lippy uh, Velveteen Matte in cashmere. Oh, and my Inglot gel liner in number 89. It's kind of a, um, like a gray, purple, nude, like basically what the color of this look is. So anyways, dude, I love this. It's like, really fucking good and honestly like when I look at it now that I like when I sat down to actually film the look when I was looking at it I was like yeah everything works it works but like as I was actually like choosing a look I, like I realized like I could have gone any direction with this and it would have fucking looked really good um so there's a lot of options I'm not in love with the shimmer formula honestly it, it's good it's good the shimmers look good it's just they're I don't know they just didn't seem to blend that well like I had a really hard time blending these two colors together and maybe it's just like my eyes or I don't know like maybe they're more blended than I think they are because of my lighting which has been happening to me quite frequently so the, it's a good shimmer formula like and the colors are fucking spectacular this color right here is like ooh, I'm so glad that's in there <laughs> that was a good time for me and then um yeah so it's like the colors are really good I just, I don't know, the shimmer formula, what, what could I compare it to? It's like Glam Light. It's the exact same formula as Glam Light, which is good. It's just not my favorite. So anyways, however, that being said, this might have just definitely slipped into one of my favorite palettes. This is a fucking good ass color story and the mattes are bomb. They blend like a dream. So anyways, honestly, I had a lot more fun with this than I did with the blends palette just color story wise this is a color story after my own heart with my freezing ass cool tone heart so anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next hit the like button if you like this look or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boy charm and hang out with me in the comments because i fucking love it if you got like halfway through this video then and you were like oh my god she's so cute until she opens her big fucking mouth then go check me out on instagram i don't talk as much on instagram and <gasps> If you're like, don't sugarcoat it, Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Then go check out my Patreon because I say much more on my Patreon. I give the unedited versions of my videos sometimes. And also I've been doing live streams every Sunday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Generally, like that's a rough guideline. Like last weekend it was three and it's, um, it's been kind of, it's two. It's definitely two, but last weekend it was three. So it's like 95% of the time it's two on Sunday, Mountain Standard Time. Thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.
Slayer.